Hello! Uh, in this episode of Finno Greek Machining, we are dealing uh, with the 5C collet system of this lathe. So, uh, there is one missing part, and uh, the setup is uh, again uh, shop made and uh, it's uh, a little bit substandard. Well, let's go and uh, inspect the thing and then uh, make it a little bit better. <laughs> The thing is that I have a long uh, drawbar, which is uh, going through that hole, goes all the way into the spindle, and then we have uh, these collets there, and then we have this uh, Morse uh, 5 adapter. This uh, taper is Morse 5, and uh, this nut is just to pull it off from the taper when you uh, are done with using this. And then you have this uh, thing that goes into there and the drawbar is simply 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 pulling it uh, into place and this uh, collet is tightening around uh, the workpiece okay uh, that's the no side of the uh, of the system uh, and uh, then we I of course have the drawbar so uh, let's see what else is involved here you remember the taper inside uh, the butt of this machine? Well, uh, this uh, thing was facing the, bat, the butt. So where is the taper? Now, uh, this is uh, the end uh, of this is the end of the drawbar. Uh, the other end is uh, already having uh, the uh, thread for the collet, and uh, that's pretty much of that. But this end is a little bit special. Uh, well, first of all. This is not in original condition. Uh, somebody has been uh, doing uh, here something, I don't know what, but let's see what we can do for that one. So, uh, remember the part on the, uh, on the chuck, uh, which I don't want to take out now. I would show it that this with you with that one, but uh, there is this uh, uh, thrust bearing going in between here. And then we have uh, the wheel in the back side, uh, which is going into there. Uh, well, it has the race here. And uh, it is supposed to make your uh, task uh, of turning it uh, that much easier. But uh, what it was, it was sitting so. You see, there is, uh, it's not uh, fully engaged. So I will make that thing that much shorter and it's uh, nearer the end of the machine uh, so yeah and remember this wheel is rotating uh, 3000 rpm in the back side <laughs> so uh, well it has to be quite straight uh, so the machine don't uh, doesn't uh, start to walk around so yeah and furthermore uh, this wheel is attached uh, to this uh, to this drawbar using uh, these four uh, Krupp screws, <laughs> and uh, there is no dimples for those. Uh, I'm not sure whether that should be that way. This either should be Loctited in place and uh, screws and Loctite so that it, it uh, won't come out <laughs> uh, or uh, and uh, you can uh, dismantle it by heating up uh, etc yeah you can do that uh, after it is so that's one option uh, which i'm uh, really i think i will do that one once i get it in place i know where to put it etc and then uh, yeah the other option is to do dimples here I'm not really fond of doing that because the material is really thin and uh, well yeah it is thin okay so uh, the net result is that we have to make that uh, adapter which is coming here and uh, uh, it needs to be um, <coughs> nine millimeter shorter in order for this uh, wheel to be able to engage uh, to uh, uh, be fully engaged here at the end 
and then I need to make a separate, uh, a separate uh, taper piece that fits into that recess in that adapter that is uh, actually centering this thing with the uh, late butt. So let's start with uh, shortening uh, the workpiece. It's a lot of play. <laughs> The surface finish is, I would say, super. <laughs> uh, this lathe uh, really does a good job in this. And uh, the boring uh, surface is grey, but you cannot feel anything there. So that probably is a really good finish. I believe. I believe so. So and <laughs> furthermore, the diameter of this hole, I have no idea. <laughs> It's, uh, uh, I made it so that it looks suitable. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, what I will do now, uh, of course, uh, uh, I will measure it and then uh, make a piece that fits into this hole. Uh, and now, originally it had uh, these uh, group screws. I don't know why. Uh, maybe for uh, centering things or something like that, but with three screws, oh, okay. But uh, I will make this an interference fit. So uh, it will be the piece that uh, tries to go in there is maybe one hundred of a millimeter too big. And then I warm this up and co uh, cool down the other one. And then it bloop, goes there like that and stays there. Yeah. And you, uh, yeah, getting it out might be a problem, but Actually, this piece should originally have been uh, made from one piece. So, uh, yeah. So, and of course now this piece that comes into, into there, it's like a bushing. It has the taper that fits uh, on the butt of this uh, lathe. So, then, 
this should work all right. <coughs> so now I, I cut uh, a suitable piece of this material from uh, uh, this is uh, very rough rough thing uh, I need to beautify it and uh, uh, well uh, there is now enough material so that I can hold it and also uh, uh, machine it safely. So now uh, the next thing is to make here to uh, to machine a holding place for there. So I will uh, face the end and also uh, do the outer uh, so that it's uh, it's machine surface. Uh, so then I turn it around into chuck and hold it from there. Now it's holding on some uh, crap. <laughs> so uh, I'm not uh, very comfortable with that one. So uh, therefore I will do that. And once all this is done, then I will will do the machine into the final shape. Uh, and uh, this is all late work. So uh, yeah, uh, th and that's next. <laughs>
that we have uh, this part, I had to hacksaw it uh, because uh, uh, this uh, chuck has a heavy bell mount and the uh, piece was like wiggling in, uh, in there and it uh, was walking out and uh, this was not a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, do this surface after I have uh, put this inside here. Okay, this piece is 15 microns larger than the hole. It doesn't go there easily at least. You could probably press it if I had a hydraulic press, I could press it there. But there is uh, fortunately another method. <laughs> so, Let's uh, just keep this. Uh, no! Uh, this uh, was something I was a little bit afraid. Very good. It uh, finally actually dropped in. Okay. And after a while it won't come out. It's there. Yeah, it starts to warm. The piece inside there starts to warm, and uh, when the temperatures equalize, it will be really tight in there. You need a hydraulic press to get it out. Uh, yeah. Done! <laughs> together. I actually tested uh, it uh, in the lathe and it works great. Uh, uh, the dimensions uh, are exactly what they should be. So when I put this together it uh, is not sloppy, it won't come apart uh, itself <laughs> and uh, furthermore it works really really nicely. So uh, the first step to, to do here is to put some grease into it. And uh, not uh, onto that part. Uh, we need to. I will be using Loctite uh, to put the wheel on there, because uh, well, it's uh, it should be tight. So now uh, let's put this black stuff here. Not a lot, just enough so that it will lubricate it. With that. I think we are there. I will wipe off the excess. This uh, creates some holy moly stuff. Uh, super long term creates. <laughs> uh, well, 
we'll see about that. Okay, and the next step is uh, to put some grease into this thrust bearing. It goes there. And uh, this is quite easy. Just put some there. I don't know whether this is really needed. Uh, oh, now we will get... Okay, I need to wipe that clean before I... <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully it doesn't uh, glue my bearing. <laughs> And now the correct place is so that uh, this is flush here. Okay, and now I will just uh, screw it in. It should be there. Okay, that's tight. There you are. It should be now ready to be used. Now I have a 20 millimeter color collet here. And uh, well, it's tightened at the moment. Uh, and I, uh, well, uh, it's, you can loosen it like that, and after that the workpiece is sliding, sliding. <laughs> uh, well, it's uh, quite exactly 20 millimeters uh, uh, in diameter. Okay, and then when I tighten this like this, you don't need uh, more than that, and it's, <laughs> it's uh, rock solid. Uh, it works, and then if I run, that was not the good. You can see that uh, the back wheel is running through. And, uh, well, this I don't know. Oh, I need to do something. Uh, we are going to have a thunderstorm, so I need to disconnect our network. So, okay. I believe uh, this is how it is supposed to be. And now it's uh, really solid and uh, it's true and uh, easy to operate. So this is really easy. Yeah. I believe this is exactly as it should be. So now if I want to make uh, one zillion screws, it uh, should be easy operation to do. <laughs> the faintest idea but uh, I always figure out something so till then see you